What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back with a video that I've been wanting to do for a little bit now, man. As you guys know, that Ultimate Editions have become the widespread commodity in the WWE action figure realm. I feel like a lot, we've discussed this before, right, about the Ultimate Editions. They've kind of taken the world by storm. I feel like after the first couple series, they were kind of, I don't know, they I felt like they were in limbo there for a second when they first released. Like, we, we saw the first wave, we were like, this is awesome, it has great potential. And then we got the Bret Hart and Shinsuke, and it was like, okay, this is pretty good. And then we kept going. And kept going and now I feel like we've entered into an era where ultimate editions are just crazy good not that these figures are perfect there's definitely some stinkers in the line or some figures that don't always seem the best or whatever and I may rank every 2023 ultimate edition at the end of the year I don't know we, at the end of the year I do a lot of ranking videos so I can't wait to dive into more ranking videos at the end of the year this year we only have a month remaining here we're gonna do top 10 elites top 10 ultimates all those different things maybe worse figures I don't know you guys can let me know but today man we're gonna be diving into some ultimate editions that I want to see these are Ultimate Editions that have re yet to be made, you know? We still have a lot on the table. We have a lot on the horizons. We have Ultimate Warrior. We have Yokozuna. We have Roddy Piper, Eddie Guerrero, Eric Bischoff. There are a ton of Ultimate Editions still coming. You have the fan takeover Rey Mysterio, the fan takeover Seth Rollins that we still haven't seen. So there are a lot of Ultimate Editions on the table that have yet to be made. But uh, these are going to be ones that are like kind of fantasy booked, or they're going to be ones that I really want to see and where I think that we should go from here. Now, I do feel like also, I feel like they've made a ton of people in the Ultimate Edition line. They've, they've filled a lot of holes in our collections. I feel like, you know, a lot of people would say that there are some people that probably deserve some that haven't gotten some yet. But I feel like for the most part, they have checked off a lot of the boxes, man. They've gotten a lot of the top talents or the the best or biggest superstars of all time in WWE history. Of course, they have left out a few. Of course, they're not perfect. Nobody bats a thousand. They have missed a few here and there, but I would say for a majority, like, out of the people that can be made, they have done a pretty good job out of that, but anyways, man, let's dive into it. Let's start off with my list, and let's dive into Kurt Angle, man. Kurt Angle is one of those guys. We just got his Ultimate Edition Series 19 figure, and I, you know, I was on the fence about it. I did not like the torso. I didn't like a lot of the things going on with this figure. However, it was said on the forums, I want to say a little while ago, that, that Kurt Angle's next figure is going to be a singlet torso. Now, that kind of has me worried because you guys know that when they put him in a singlet, it's usually overly jacked, and I don't know if I want to see that in an Ultimate Edition. I don't want to see an overly jacked singlet torso. If they do a singlet torso for Kurt Angle, I hope that it's more realistic and it's not as overly jacked, but uh, I, I like the cloth singlet. A lot of people had issues with the cloth singlet. I actually like the cloth singlet. It's just about what you put up under it, I think, and so I don't know, but Unforgiven 2001 would be the Kurt Angle that I would, that I would want to see out of the Ultimate Edition line right there, so a Kurt Angle redo is something that I would love to see, and I think, I think we'll probably get another Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition down the line. I just hope that, I don't know, whatever mistakes they made with this first Kurt Angle, I hope they address those on the next one, but nonetheless, man, let's move on to the next one. My next entry into the Ultimate Edition line would be an American Badass Undertaker. American Badass Undertaker would be beautiful, man. There's so many different things you could do here. You could do like a jean vest or a denim vest. You could do like the chain around his neck. You could do the bandana. You could do like maybe a couple of long-haired head sculpts. You could go shorter hair, hair sculpts. You could do the dead ink. You not do the dead ink. There's a lot of different things you could do there with the Undertaker. And he changes, like, obviously he was American Badass Undertaker, but there was a lot of different unique looks that he would wear around this time period, so you you know, you could just kind of play around with that and, you know, mix some things in there. Maybe you can throw a hoodie in there, maybe a, a just some good cloth goods. I mean, you don't even have to, maybe you can include the world tag title, maybe, or maybe you don't want to include the world tag title, and you can leave that out there, and then we can uh, just have some different pairings of different accessories, but one thing that I think would improve this is you guys know that we did have that ringside exclusive SummerSlam Undertaker. This would be way better than that, so that that's kind of where I am. I think that we should get an upgrade there. Uh, just a good formula for the guy. I would love to see an American Badass Undertaker. Now, another thing that would be cool is to get like an American Badass. I know we've gotten motorcycles and stuff like that, but an American Badass motorcycle playset, like a Reckon playset would be nice. I know we've gotten ones that are kind of similar, but haven't been American Badass Undertaker. So yeah, that would also be a little bonus. Speaking of American Badass Undertaker, man, I think also a cane from this era would also be great. Like a, a 2001 cane or so like that. I know that we've seen, obviously, the attitude Dude, Arrow Ring Kane was a big one. I love that figure. I think that's great. I may actually get to review that here soon. That comes with the ring. I'm going to review the figure by itself, I think. Maybe next week I did order two of those off of MattelCreations.com on the buy one, get one sale. So I'm definitely going to be able to possibly finally review that figure for you guys because I do have the one that's like in the shipper and then I'll have the two extra ones there. So we'll see about that. But 
the Kane from that uh, is great, but I would like to see Hardcore Kane as an Ultimate Edition, you know? Like, the Kane Ultimate Edition formula is such a good formula, man. It looks so good. So taking that and then uh, putting it into Ultimate Edition form with different arms and different, you know, head sculpts and mask sculpts and everything like that, I could just see how menacing that would be. I've seen some ridiculous customs of that Kane from that era in Ultimate Edition form, so I think that would also do fantastic stuff. So that is also one that I would love to see is a Kane from that. And obviously, like a two pack would be cool, but I don't I don't know how well that would do. I don't I don't I mean I feel like it would do well because people love like two packs and ultimate editions, but I don't know. I I think that a Kane and an Undertaker, like in the same set, maybe like Ultimate Edition Series 22, put those two guys in a set and then pair it with a female figure or something like that, because you guys know that we have three in each set moving forward. I think that would do wonders and plus I, I don't know, just Kane and Undertaker from the early two thousands or two thousand one would be so sweet. But nonetheless, moving on to our next one, man, is going to be injury return trip. Triple H. Yes, Triple H return from injury. Now, we do have a Defining Moments figure on this, and this is a figure that I really want to see in the Greatest Hits line. I think the Defining Moments Triple H was such a great figure. It's one that is very hard to come by, um, especially with all of its accessories, but it had great accessories. It had great head sculpt. It had great gear. There's so many different things you could do here. As an Ultimate Edition, you could make it where his arms come off, and you could give him like the actual jacket on there with cloth pants would be freaking amazing. I think that would be such a cool thing. Or you could just Give him all the cloth goods like we did the Defining Moments and then have the uh, the Ultimate Edition figure there with, you know, all the bells and whistles. So you could have, like, the gear. You'd have the Ultimate Edition Triple H with just the Iron Cross gear and then have all cloth goods. Or you could do the jacket interchangeable arms deal with the Triple H with the water bottle, with the with the sledgehammer, like all kinds of different things you could do there. So Triple H, dude, this is a beautiful figure. If they don't put this in the Ultimate Edition line, they got to put it into the Greatest Hits. I think this is a absolute money Greatest Hits figure or even a, a Legend greatest hits figure I think could also pass for this so we'll have to see about that you guys know that the legends greatest hits line I feel like it's been pretty successful again I think that a lot of people were enjoying that and all those different things you guys can let me know where you stand on that but I think that the uh, return from injury Triple H figure would be a knockout that that's an absolute standout in my personal opinion right there the next one on my list guys is going to be SummerSlam 2015 Seth Rollins man it's kind of weird because I feel like uh, in the modern era if they don't make a figure within the first year or two of a guy wearing a certain gear, they're not going to ever make it again. You know, like WrestleMania 34, Seth Rollins, there's some different gears that Finn Balor has worn and Seth Rollins have worn, like Thanos. The Thanos gear from SummerSlam, we got basics of it, never saw it again. And I think those are great elites you could have on the updated formula, and they still haven't done it. So I, I don't know, man. I feel like this gear may be lost in the water. I know it was a fan favorite. A lot of people love that Elite 45 Rollins. But I think if you went with a U.S. title, a WWE championship, a nice entrance vest, removable gauntlets, three interchangeable head sculpts, Seth Rollins' new formula, SummerSlam 2015. This thing would move like hotcakes. I mean, the Elite 45 Rollins didn't even have chest hair or anything. I think that this one would just be a mac. I would love to see this, man. This would be one of the ones that's at the top of the list for me. I just think on that updated formula and all those different things, man, that figure would be such a hit. Everybody would love to see that. And not only just the SummerSlam 2015. That's on my personal list, but I think even if you did the cash-in Rollins or you did any of those throwback Rollins on the updated formula or any updated Ultimate Edition on, you know, in a old Seth Rollins gear, like a Thanos gear or something like that, in Ultimate Edition form, it would, uh, I think people would lose their minds, so I think that that's easily one that, that needs to be taken place, is SummerSlam 2015 Rollins, one of my favorite gears of all time, I mean, this one pretty much writes itself, I don't know how we haven't gotten that yet, however, we gotta get that Shield Rollins in the Greatest Hits line, you know, that's a, that's how the cookie crumbles, and then my last one, before we get into a couple of fantasy booking ones that aren't under contract, uh, my last one right here is gonna be Lita, I think that Lita would be a really cool Ultimate Edition, I think that that would be a really sweet one. I think that you could do like a two-in-one figure maybe where you could get like Rated R Lita and Team Extreme Lita. Or, I mean, yeah, I feel like those would be the two best. I mean, you could do like a singles Lita, but I don't know how well that would do. I think a Team Extreme Lita would be great. And you probably don't want to do a Team Extreme Lita or a, a Rated R Lita, like two-in-one figure without having the Hardy Boys under contract. Like, obviously, the Hardy Boys are in AEW, but when they do return finally, I think that we could, uh, you know, like when they, when it's all, when the dust is settled and they're in WWE, WWE and they sign Legends deals forever and we can get figures of those guys again in WWE, then I think they're going to absolutely 
pump those guys out. Maybe we can get like a Team Extreme, like two pack, Ultimate Edition two pack, or something like that. That would be really awesome. That's actually in my bonus here, would be a Team Extreme two pack. I mean, even a three pack would be amazing, but a Team Extreme two pack would be really awesome with Matt and Jeff. You could do all kinds of certain things in there. Oh, dude, like now my mind's spinning on like crowdfunders and stuff like that. Can you imagine doing like a TLC playset? Oh my God, dude, like WrestleMania X7 ring with Edge and, Edge and Christian, the Dudleys, Matt and Jeff. Oh my God in heaven. Nonetheless, man, I'm going to stop talking before I run myself off a cliff. Nonetheless, man, my last figure, uh, you guys already know where I'm going with this one. The last one on my list is going to be none other than Sting. Yes, yeah, Sting is at the top of my list. Obviously, if I could make any character, regardless of contracts, you know, the, like those limits or those different things right there, Sting would be the number one figure for me. He is the guy that I want an Ultimate Edition of over anybody. That That is the guy that I want to see an Ultimate Edition made out of is Sting. That is just something I want to see, man. So hopefully that will come to fruition. It, you know, I've been, I wanted a lot of these guys for years, right? Like we used to make these Ultimate Edition wish lists. And it's crazy because if you find yourself in an Ultimate Edition wish list video you usually end up getting made so maybe some of these things are, are to come but we will have to see like Andre the Giant was in one of them Macho Man was in one of them Roddy Piper Randy Orton Roman Reigns Seth Rollins all those guys were originally in Ultimate Edition wish list videos so now we have the groundwork for all of that moving forward is this video so hopefully uh maybe they'll take some notes or maybe this stuff's already in the plans we'll have to see but uh that is your uh, my Ultimate Edition wish list. But I want to know down in the comment section below what your Ultimate Edition wish list is or who you would like to see. You know, there's plenty of characters out there. I know a lot of people want to see Drew McIntyre. I saw somebody out there that said that Sheamus deserved one. I think Sheamus would be a cool Ultimate Edition. I don't know what the uh, the going rate for that would be, but you guys can let me know all those things down in the comment section below. But I've been feeling like crap, man. I, I really, just the last few days, like I thought I was getting over it and then I got hit even harder and it was crazy man so I do apologize for not being able to upload to you guys and get videos up the last uh, couple days just this past week has been really sporadic and I do apologize for that but I hope you guys do appreciate it leave me all your thoughts down in the comment section below man I appreciate every single one of you guys huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel always appreciate those fellas over there thank you guys so very much for your support as always love each and every single one of you guys over there but I'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram Twitter and TikTok at my damn toys I will see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and I'll catch you later